back to the channel. In today's video, I just want to talk a little bit about my Neo Geo AES joystick and some recent modifications I made to it. I have been having problems for a while now with the A button getting sticky and just not making a good connection. I even did a video about how to clean the contacts, but unfortunately this fix was short-lived and it seemed like every couple days I kept having to clean the contacts. It just kept getting sticky and just not working right and it was very annoying. So I finally decided enough's enough. I'm going to modify this thing and it'll be over and done with. So I want to talk a little bit about that today. Modifications I made are I put new buttons, a new ball top for the joystick because the old one was cracked and just in bad shape. And internally, I changed out the four-way restrictor gate with an eight-way OptiGate made by Jamma Nation X. The thing is awesome and it allows full 360 rotation with your joystick nice and easy the way it should be. What's unique about this modification is I decided to do a solder-free modification. I used crimp connectors and also quick disconnects so that we could put new buttons in without having to solder or desolder anything. These buttons can easily be changed later on down the road if you change your mind about the color or whatever, which I think some people will appreciate since not everybody is good with a soldering iron. So stay tuned, enjoy the video. Okay guys, here's the joystick we're gonna be modding. You can see it's not in the best shape. I've been having problems with the A button sticking and also the ball top is cracked pretty heavily. Gonna be using a two-tone black and gray 24 millimeter Sanwa push buttons. The only downside to these is they do not have replaceable micro switches. We're also gonna be removing the standard joystick restrictor gate and installing a JNX OctaGate. I picked up a black and a gray 35 millimeter Sanwa ball top because I couldn't decide what color I wanted to go with just yet. The 35 millimeter is a hair bigger than the original ball top, but I think this will work out well. To disassemble, remove the center screw and then gently pry up all the rubber feet, revealing a screw underneath. Remove these screws and then the joystick will easily split into two parts. To remove the gate, you have to take out eight Phillips head screws that are secured to the joystick housing. Here you can see the old four-way gate. The new Octa gate pops right back in the same spot. Reassemble with the eight Phillips head screws and you're good to go. Oh yeah. Next, we're going to be removing the PCB for the buttons. I jot down all the color wires that go to each button so I don't forget what's going where. I then snip them as close as I can to the PCB itself. The PCB is held in with four Phillips head screws. We're going to go ahead and remove all of them. You'll see it comes out in one complete housing that holds all four of the buttons. The new push buttons are made to easily be snapped into place from the top of the control panel. Here you can see what it looks like with all four of them installed. Next, we're gonna be installing the new ball top for the joystick. You're gonna to need to hold back with a flathead screwdriver on the underside of the control panel so that you have enough torque to be able to get the ball off. Installation's as easy as screwing the new one on and then again, holding back with your screwdriver underneath the panel so that you could tighten it up the proper amount. Next, we're gonna be wiring up all the buttons. I've opted to go solder free, instead using quick disconnects and crimp fittings along with my ratchet and crimper. That way, if I ever wanna remove any of these buttons in the future, they'll easily be disconnected and I could change them on the fly without having to worry about desoldering anything. The first thing I did was make a daisy chain of all my grounds. Every button has two terminals on it. One of them is gonna be your ground. So here you could see that we're gonna use the quick disconnects and we're just gonna slide it easily onto the spade terminal and we're gonna make a connection on one side of each button. This will be your grounds. 
Make sure to bend the terminals over just a little bit so you'll have room to close the control panel. I'm now going to strip each wire individually for the A, B, C, and D buttons. Each one of these buttons I'm going to crimp on a quick disconnect, just like we did with the grounds. Wiring up the buttons is as simple as sliding the quick disconnect onto the remaining spade terminal on each button. Double check that you didn't get your wire colors mixed up when reassembling, otherwise you might have your buttons backwards. Now bend your terminals over just like you did with the grounds so that you'll have enough room to close the control panel when it's time to reassemble. It's now time to reassemble. Make sure you don't have any of your wires pinched when you're closing the two shells together. Reinstall the five Phillips head screws that hold the control panel together. The one in the center and one in each corner. Lastly, I use a spray adhesive on each one of the rubber feet just so that it'll stick better when I go to put it back onto the control panel. Clean up the excess glue with some isopropyl alcohol. And that pretty much completes our modification of this joystick, guys. Thank you again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about my Neo Geo AES joystick and some modifications I recently did to it. I was having problems with the A button and I actually did a prior video all about how the contacts were just sticky and that I couldn't get a good clean connection and I showed you guys how to clean the contacts. Unfortunately, this was a very spotty fix and it seemed like every couple days the button would start getting stuck again and then I'd have to throw it in the river. So once I took it out of the river, I hit it with the baseball bat and then f <laughs> All right. Take 63. All right.